Go on. Let's move along to the, um, we can to the uh, economic calendar. So at 11.30, which uh, we've got the ECB monetary policy meeting accounts, uh, 12.30 trade balance uh, for May, and initial jobless claims, I assume this might be an hour out actually, but uh, then we've got uh, at 2 o'clock uh, the GDP estimate for the UK, which uh, uh, Theresa May and others will be hoping that is not uh, anywhere in negative territory. So I think we're sailing quite close to the, wheel, uh, with the wind on the economic front. That might hurt the pound later. Yes, I mean, certainly as far as the ECB is concerned, they're going to be looking at um, whether there are still signs of uh, tapering or uh, winding down the monetary uh, policy, the quantitative easing and all that. So uh, certainly that was what was signaled by Draghi in the last meeting. Um, so is that, what, what's your view on that? Uh, in, in well, I think obviously he'll try, he tries to signal it without, say, without saying it. So <laughs> otherwise there'll be an explosion on the, uh, on yeah. the euro dollar uh, to, the, uh, to the upside. So uh, right. it's going to be very, very subtle. I mean, it's, it's very, very difficult for him now because they really want the euro to be uh, lower. But it hasn't, hasn't actually hurt the economy yet. I should just say that according to the last COT report, the Commitment of Traders report that came out uh, about a month ago, I believe it was, um, it showed that commercial hedgers, again, the smart money, are heavily bearish in, on the euro. They're actually selling short the euro. So that's something to keep an eye on. I think if, if that's the case, if commercial hedgers, smart money are bearish on the euro, let's see if that uh, could impact the euro currency. Uh, I don't expect it, but something to keep an eye on.